Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube journey. Thank you for being here, thank you for joining, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Press the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my weekly YouTube videos. You'll be the first to know. So without much ado, I want to go straight into the topic of this video because it's something I've been really excited to do. It's something that you guys ask me all the time about because if I were to do an Instagram video, a photo, it's always in my DMs and it's always in the comments. Um, it is about, drum roll, it's about uh, my favorite lip colors. And the reason I've refrained from doing a video on this topic for a while is because I travel a lot and I pick up cosmetics, lipsticks from all over the world and um, because most of you guys are joining us from Sri Lanka, I didn't want to do a video where I'm talking about brands that you don't have access to and I felt uh, kind of not great about that. Um, when I was thinking about it, I thought, okay, um, let me go through my entire lipstick collection and um, come up with my top five or is it six i'll figure it out um best brown girl fave lipsticks that i live by and i always keep buying and using and you'll only see me wearing these on a regular basis unless i'm feeling a little bit adventurous so um these are all from brands the ones that i've picked today are all from brands that you have access to and i'm really excited about it and i want to share it with you guys and um i'll also do um a test on my lips so you can see what it looks like as well when i've worn it and um yeah let's get straight into it let's start with the first one i'm going to pick the one that i'm already wearing so that is this one here which is bobby brown and the color is also brown number four okay the color looks like this it's like a proper brown I'm wearing it on my lips right now and um, this is a very day where uh, in fact day to night actually it's a really matte finish I love it I think it goes with everything it is very close to the natural color of my lips but just a little bit darker so it makes the lips prominent um, I don't need to wear a lip liner with this, so it's just tick, 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 plus, plus, plus all over. I love this. I think every brown girl should probably have this particular shade in their kit because it's just so versatile, right? So moving along to uh, the second color, and I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to um, wear the next when color. When I remove my lipstick, um, I usually like to use a cleansing balm, and right here is... Clean It Zero by Vanilla & Co. It's this one here. I think I'm holding it right. I'm really bad at holding things up. There you go. And so you put a little bit of the balm on your lips and it's a very clean swipe with a tissue and it just takes the whole thing off without a lot of effort. So it's really, really easy. It's really, really um, soothing on the skin as opposed to like really rough and kind of dry your lips out okay so what's the next color that i'm going to try out for you guys and this one is a mini because i wanted to try the color first before investing in um the proper size because i felt like with mac recently i've had reason to really be disappointed with a few colors that i've tried um including four and twig and a few others that didn't really like feel like a forever color on me so this one is meher m-e-h-r and the color is like a pinky nude and um, i'm gonna try it on my skin now So this one has a proper pink to it, which I really like. When I want to get away from the solid browns and want a little bit of um, color on my skin, I like to have like a deep rose or a pink underneath. And this one is a brown and pink mix. And I really love this one. I think I'll be buying the full size in this because I just feel like it's very, very uh, good for daytime. And it's really, really great for like a daytime event as well. If you want to like wear it for a wedding or some sort of a function, it's a really beautiful, um, fresh, um, 
feminine color um, on a brown girl's skin tone. So um, this is Meher from MAC. All right, so the next one in my faves had to be there. And I apologize to all of those people who don't have access to this brand, but it had to because I just love it so much and I had to be honest. And this one is um, Mecca Max, which is an Australian brand. It's like Sephora, but um, I think it's like an Australian version of Sephora. And this is the color. It's a proper matte and it's a brownish matte. And um, <sighs> this one is just so perfect. I've loved this ever since I got it. The shade is Sass Queen. Not saying this is like made for me, but I might be saying it's made for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try this on, okay? So that's the Mecca Max um, Sass Queen. I don't use a lip liner with uh, pretty much any of these lipsticks that I am showing you for daytime. If I feel like it's a really, uh, you know, full on event, then yes, I will wear a lip liner. But day to day, mm, no need to. Uh, and this one is a little more drying on the lips. So it's really great to put a lip balm underneath before you wear this lipstick. But guys, this color is just so fabulous. I love it so much. It's a really deep brown. Um, it's really great for day to night. It's matte, which is my favorite type of lipstick right now. And um, it's also it also adds like volume to your lips. Like it gives you a little bit of a plumpness, even though it's matte. And that's something I've noticed. Um, yeah, this is like a go-to product, and I uh, really, really want to keep buying this. So um, yeah. I hope you guys have access to this. I'm sure there's a lot of Instagrammers who bring this down. Um, so yeah, don't hate me for mentioning this, but I love it so much I had to. So that's my number three on top six brown girl lipsticks. All right guys, so the next one I wanna talk about is a very famous one. I'm not really into cult products. I always make sure that it's not about the brand, but about the product and if it really suits me, suits my skin, um, suits my needs basically, because there's no point just because so-and-so comes up with a line of makeup or just because it's all the rage at the moment, just spending your hard-earned cash on um, products that are just trendy but doesn't really do what they're supposed to do so this one I tried out um, when I was in Dubai and I really liked it because it was doing what it was supposed to do and it was really really nice so this one that I love and is in my top six like fave brown girl lipsticks is Fenty Beauty and I believe this shade is uncuffed so that's the color and it's a really beautiful soft dusty pink slash nude I don't know guys it just works it's beautiful but I do so that's what one coat looks on me and the only issue I have with this is one coat for me is not coverage enough so I need to let it sort of settle and then put one more coat on top of it so I don't know like about the coverage of this whether it'll suit everybody but because I don't really always need a huge amount of lipstick on my lips um, especially for like daytime or something I'm okay with it but I just love the shade I think it's very natural it's very close to most brown girls skin tones and lip um, colors so I think um, in that way it works but the coverage I think is a little bit iffy for some people so this is one coat and for a night or an evening thing, I'll just put like a little bit more just at the center. And that kind of just uh, makes it a little bit more um, fuller and more richer in color. So um, yeah, I just love this tone. This is again Fenty Beauty Uncuffed. Love, love. Okay, I think now my lips are starting to pay the price for this video. It's stinging me a little. So this next color that I'm gonna to talk to you about is um, actually not from a cosmetic brand as such, it's from H&M. You guys know they came up with a um, cosmetic line, I think 
a few years ago and yes some of the products are a little touch and go but um, the lipsticks have been really good and this one lipstick that I tried on I think it was in Singapore um, because actually some of the stores in Australia also don't have the cosmetic um, line so Singapore had it and I picked this up and I've loved it ever since but there is a huge negative to this which is the fact that it's so dry like it's a matte lipstick but this one is so dry it's not even funny you need to moisturize your lips and I've put some lip balm underneath so that I can put this um, on top and right now I'm using the Himalaya lip balm which is just this it's very basic but it does the job and I got onto this when I was living in India and I just really love it so guys this one is from H&M like I said and it's called Red Hot H-A-U-T-E hot and it's not a red it's actually like an orangey terracotta brown that's the tone and let's try it on to see how it looks right so again I'm just directly applying this lipstick without any lip liner foundation primer on the lips none of it I'm this is how it's gonna look on a normal girl without like the whole hassle of really prepping your lips I have put lip balm so I'm all right right I think so but um, yeah so it's a very orangey color but it actually brightens your skin so much which is why I love this color but you guys you do need to moisturize your lips before because this is very drying like I said like it'll like crack your lips so it's very serious uh, other than that it's gorgeous I love it it's again for like daytime and I love it a little bit like if I'm wearing a sari sometimes as well it's a pop of um, brightness in a very ethnic way so yeah I love it I think it's a really gorgeous color so let's move on to the last one and this one is from a brand that we all have access to I assume and um, it's new to me I got it only about a week ago and I've loved it so I thought okay let me just share that one as well this uh, I think brings up the rear end of my top six brown girl lipsticks that I right now am in love with this could change I'm not like completely married to these I'm happy to have my mind changed but for right now these are like my solid faves okay let's remove this makeup first So this one guys I'm already wearing to just uh, forego the hassle and this one's L'Oreal Paris and the shade is a maze and I want to say this color is a maze because I really like it I think it's a beautiful orangey brown and the best thing about it is the fact that it's very light like it's not a very thick color so the consistency I would say is very similar to Fenty Beauty I love it because of that but you do need a second coat Especially if you've got like darker lips I think if you want to cover that darkness and have like a richer color on your skin you might need a second coat so I let it dry a little bit and apply the second so that's two coats of L'Oreal Paris Amaze love love because it's got a bit of an ethnic feel to it which i really like it's got a tropical feel to it and because i right now am in the tropical part of the world i really love that warmth and whenever i choose lipsticks to flatter my skin tone and my features i tend to stick with earthy colors um, warm colors really um you know colors with the yellow or gold or an orangey undertone because i feel like it brings out my skin tone um i find that when brown girls wear like really cool pinks it doesn't flatter their skin tone as much as it should so uh, so those of you asking advice as to how to pick a lipstick shade for your skin tone it's really good to stick with something that is sort of early and warm if you're investing in something for the long term and um, yeah that's it guys that's my top six and like I said these are um, brands that I love and um, products that I keep repurchasing so that's why I wanted to introduce them to you. And now that I've done that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long requested one and I'm sorry for taking so much time, but I finally did it guys. I'm happy and I hope you guys are happy. Much love to all of you. Um, stay blessed, 
Stay safe and I'll see you soon.